opportunity is the industrial opportunity. And I'm going to tell you why we call it the industrial internet. So in the late 19th century, there was this change that we call the industrial revolution. The second was the late 20th century where the internet revolution said we can replace people's connectivity and people's intelligence with computer systems. That's a huge step forward as well. Now what I've been talking about so far is the lack of internet thinking in industrial systems. If we could add internet thinking to industrial systems the way, the way Bosch has done with partners, we end up with the industrial internet. Where do those opportunities come from? One is revenue generation, whole new um, products and services. And in fact, a lot of this is going to come from changing product sales to service sales. Operational efficiencies are going to bring down costs all over the place. Most importantly, we're going to see improved customer satisfaction. I think over the next 20 years, we're going to see products no longer failing. Or I should say, when they're going to fail, there's a, a spare part appears on your doorstep because uh, they know they're going to fail. I've been in the space of bringing together companies to develop international standards, to develop test beds, to work together to solve common problems. And I believe in international standards. But I also believe that developing standards when you don't know what standards you need is a waste of time. That's because companies need, realize that there are no digital boundaries in the world. They have to work together. No one company is going to provide all of these services to connect systems. No one company is going to provide the connectivity. No one company will have all of the technology. So how do you find out what you need? It's not just developing the use cases, although that's a very important step. It's building it and testing it and seeing what works. I call it the Nike effect. Just do it. Yeah.